So these are the Nahida teams that I found to be the most successful in the Spiral Abyss. And the first one of which, which you currently see on your screen, is the Yai Miku team. Now this team is pretty easy to use and pretty easy to set up as you have both Kuki Shinobu for healing, Kaza for the damage increase, and obviously you have your Nahida to absolutely destroy everything in her path. Now the fun thing about this team is that you don't really need to know exactly what you're doing. You can pretty much just spam everything and it would go according to plan. I mean, most of Genshin Impact is pretty much that, but <laughs> it's just really easy to set up as you can just put all your stuff for Yaimiko. You can ult with Yaimiko if you have her ult and then you can put her stuff back and then you can damage boost with your Kazuha, get your healing from Kukishinobu and of course, get your absolutely insane amount of support from your Nahida if she doesn't die like that. Another general thing to know about this team is that, well, it doesn't have any shields, so you can really get hurt by being a little bit too reckless. So you guys want to consider, you know, dodging a little bit more and just be a little bit more agile than you usually would because you could die pretty quick if you don't exactly know what you're doing. So, yeah. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Another team I found pretty successful is this Nahida official Tenari as well as Kuki Shinobu team. Uh, this team is pretty easy to use. All you have to know is that you should probably dodge attacks because especially if they're close range, you're, kind of, you're going to have a pretty tough time. But other than that, you just apply all of your stuff from your Nahida, apply all the stuff here. And with Tenari, you can absolutely pop off by just you know using his skill and it's really really easy to use and shouldn't take you that much time to get used to you can have either tenari be your you know full on damage dealer or you can have nahida be that doesn't really matter they both work the same but yeah this team is pretty fun to use especially because of tenari and the fun thing that he has is he has a taunt skill and this taunt skill is super nice because you could really play out of the field and you don't have to really be in that danger right so you can just play out of the field and allow your your entire team to do the damage and you can just ignore the field and be outside and just play with tenari and it's, it's pretty good, pretty strong. The best thing about it is you pretty much have full up time on everything. And especially if you know what you do and you know how to build your characters, you'll have full up time all the time and you can just spam every single thing, every skill, every elemental burst, everything. So it'll be a pretty fun team for you guys to try out. And for those of you who want to use any type of bloom team, it's easy to do that. If you want bloom, you pretty much just need Nahida, you need Shing Cho or Yelan, a shield character such as Zhang Li, or even if you guys want a virgin team, you can actually use Toma. Maybe for the last slot, you need some sort of healer, so Kuki Shinobu would be an excellent choice, but you would actually need only Zhang Li. You can't have Toma on that team. Or if you really trust your abilities to dodge in a fight, you can use Shing Cho as a sub healer. He's not going to do the most amount of healing, but you could heal a little bit from him, and you can go for the Raiden Shogun in the last slot. But this is what uh, a team I would use would go like. It would be a Zhang Li, a Kuki Shinobu, and a bloom team using Shing Cho. This is probably a, one of the more fun teams because you can have all the reactions possible here and it's just super super fun. You got Hyper Bloom, you've got the Electro Charge and it's just a generally fun time but the only problem would be is actually damaging yourself but because of Zhongli or any of the shield characters you would actually be pretty safe to use whatever thing you want here and you would be pretty much good to go. A really fun team, very hectic and there's a lot of damage numbers on the field so it's sort of difficult to track if you as long as you keep yourself shielded you're going to be just fine and it's a pretty fun team overall and i would definitely recommend you guys try this out especially if you guys like a lot of numbers and a lot of stuff going on so definitely a fun fun team to try out now it's especially nice for large bosses like this because you can pretty much gather them all together here and the gloom reactions would do so much damage to them totally and it's just so much fun seeing all the damage numbers come together and especially if you have Nahida like super high up there you got the element of mastery and just have a lot of fun <laughs> So yeah, definitely should try out this team. It's one of the most fun I've used for Nahida, especially because of all the reactions goes on. And yeah, <laughs> I have nothing more to say other than this team is really powerful. And yeah, as long as you have a shielder, you're pretty much good to go. But yeah, that is going to be it. That is my top of the top 
for the most fun teams and most successful teams I've had in the Spiral Abyss for Nahida. Nahida is a very versatile character and very easy to use and can be implemented into many teams. I would definitely suggest having Nahida in your roster if you guys want any type of dender damage or dender support. It all comes from Nahida. Now, there are going to be many more teams that I didn't show here, such as the Nilo teams. Nilo teams would probably be really powerful and would create such a nice synergy with Nahida. I would definitely suggest that you guys use Nahida as well as Nilo if you have them both together. But yeah, that is going to be it. Let me know what you guys think about the teams in the comment section down below. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel as well as like the video if you found this video helpful or informative or even enjoyable for entertainment. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.